Hey guys, it's the DIY Cat, and today I'm going to be doing the sketching process of a drawing. I think I'm going to call it electric pink. I'm going for a really edgy look. Not like biker edgy, but kind of glamorous edgy. You know what I mean? I'm going to be sketching it in this hot pink, or inking it in this hot pink pen. So, I hope, sorry for the weird camera angle, but I want to be able to easily get to it, so I had to kind of pull my camera to the side. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get sketching. Um, this may be part one or the whole thing, depends on how much room my phone has. As far as memory, my phone slash camera. And also how fast I can get the sketching process done. So it is real time because the software I use, I use Windows Movie Maker. I can't figure out how to get it in like a time lapse format. I mean, I know how to do it with in Movie Maker, but it's not the right file that I can. It's not a f uploadable file type. I did have another three marker challenge with Craft Rebel. But sadly it looks like that is going not going to get up unless I decide to put the unedited version up. Which is a little over 15 minutes. And now that my account is verified that would work. But I don't know if I would want to upload it or not yet. Okay, I'm just going to keep on sketching on camera and hoping that I can get the whole thing done within my camera phone memory. Alright, so I'm just going to start on the face here. Um, I really, you've no, I don't know if you've ever really seen me draw before. I'm going to try and do, I've done a lot of drawings, but mm, I don't know where most of my sketchbooks are. I have a little one that I just do like fashion design stuff in. And then I have a large one that I do pretty much Pokemon off of Google Images. Then I have one medium sized one and then my binder of like people drawings like this and concept art that I do on just plain printer paper. And then I put it in a page protector and put it in a binder. And, let's see, hold on, I'm gonna pull it off camera. Um, I think I'm gonna just keep that eye pretty much the same. I'm just gonna raise, oh, and I use just a bit extra sparkle, 7 millimeters HB number 2 mechanical pencil. I just bought it, it was like four twenty nine at Kroger for a 24 pack of these. Okay, um, yeah, there we much better. And actually, I think I'm going to make some nice, like, sharper eyebrows to go with my edgy look. If it's too long, I'll put some time skip points in the description, like, for when I finish the face or whatever. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna here be kind of coloring in the eyes. I like to go for an ombre method of coloring one area and then coloring over in the same or a little bit darker, but skipping one section and then doing that until you get your desired ombre. That's pretty good. I think the light eyes will add to a kind of edgy effect. And even though I'm inking it in pink, the, all the coloring will be in black and white pencil. Um, graphite. And I'm trying to decide if I want to put hands on this yet. Yeah, we're going to go for some fingerless gloves, so I'll put hands. The way I draw hands... 
kind of have, I have a bunch of lines that kind of make it look as if she's wearing fingerless gloves. So I don't feel like erasing that on something like this. So, um, wow, it's already been five minutes. Anyway, I'm not used to filming a video this long, but anyway, so I like to start with a line there, put a line there, go right there, kind of like that. So there's a basic shape. And then I swing. There's a little circle. Oh, it's probably my ice cream that I had earlier. Yeah, that's. You didn't need to know that. Don't look at the bow. I'm gonna just look at the bow. Sorry if my hair or anything gets on camera. I don't think it will, but just in case, sorry in advance because it's actually kind of highly likely that it might. Uh, perfect! Yes, I got it done the first try okay so as far as the hair goes i'm gonna go for go ahead and erase the top head of here i like this uv eraser from target okay oh and if you're wondering about the paper i'm drawing on it's literally copy paper but if you want to know about brand or anything it is members mark paper from sam's I literally have two reams just of it just sitting on my desk waiting to be drawn on. I literally reserve for that progress. No matter how much paper my printer needs, that paper will never be used in my printer. Perfect idea for the hair. Keep that, keep those little bangs, and then just do a little piece here. Or, um, I just have to get that shape right. I think I have enough memory to make this a whole video. Like I said, I'll put skip times in the description. So this isn't utterly boring. Okay. I mean, if you want to watch the whole thing, you can, but but skip time so that you can kind of see my progress just throughout. Oh, random paintbrush. I like this paintbrush. It's weird. It's like really rough bristles. I've, I've had it since I was like two. I think it came in a Blue's Clues paint with water book. Remember those where it had like little patterns of ink and then you dip the brush in water and you paint and it would color it. You don't have to like dip in the colors. I think it came out of one of those. It was either Sesame Street or Blue's Clues. I've had it since I was two. You know what? What am I doing? I'm just going to add a base coat sort of of streaky lines and then add a little bit of ombre right there oh my knees hurt really bad right now i have not probably the position i've been i've been sitting with my knees like i don't know i guess bent all day and it's making my knees hurt. Oh, I sound so old, but I'm kind of thinking I'm having some arthritis. I think that's the best ombre I've ever done. I'll be inking the outlines in pink is what I mean by inking in pink. Not coloring the whole thing. Perfect. There's her hair. No, we just got to figure out what we want to do for the clothes. Okay, and that little... Here, 
gonna scoot up the paper right here. That little thing right there is what I like to call the foot point. It's where I put the shoes. Normally, I would like just quick example. I would draw like there, and then I would put little flats. Um, I'm gonna try and do maybe my no. I'm gonna do the flats. I don't. I don't feel like looking up a reference picture. I honestly don't. Anyway, considering this is a real time video, then I really don't feel like looking up a reference picture. Okay. Um, what kind of clothes do I want to do? I'm thinking a sort of racer. <gasps> yes. Edgy but glam. There we go. There's the top. Okay. We're going to have a short little crop top kind of thing. Well, I use the top of the pencil for little baby details like that, but. Pretty big areas like when I have to erase the top of the scalp to do the hair or the top of the head. I'll use the UV eraser. I like to hold it. It's just fun to hold. I like how big that and it's fitting in the hand it is. Okay. The last time I did this Eddie style, I really liked the way it came out. I think I named it. Katarina Edge. Yeah, I know that doesn't sound edgy. She was supposed to be a cat girl, but she had like a leather print vest with um, cheetah print on it. I was supposed to put like cat ears on her, but I forgot. And I already, it's already in the binder. It's a finished drawing, so that's not gonna happen. But anyway, let me see. I tried to do high waisted on her, and it didn't work too well. I'm thinking high waisted on her is gonna yes, high waisted on her is gonna work. So we're gonna see the belly button just kinda poking out the top right there. I really hate smudging, so I saw someone, someone using a brush for eraser marks instead of their hand. That's what we're doing because I really hate smudging. Like smudging is my worst enemy. Okay. No, we're not gonna turn a cuff. We're gonna add some little pockets right here. No, we're not. They're gonna stay plain. We're gonna have to add. Okay. Okay, K, K. Okay, K, K. We're gonna kinda cover that lightly. Okay. No, I want a really dark kind of feel at that bottom there in those corners. And we're going to pull it up and into a light. No, I am not an amazing artist by any means, but I do love to draw. I really envy um, Bailey J on YouTube. He's a YouTube artist YouTuber here. Um, and Echo Gillette. I really envy their work. I really like their styles. No, I envy all great artists, but I feel like their styles are the, kind of the closest to mine. I love to draw like anime and stuff, and I can show you how much my style has evolved, but. Um, I, I'm just not very good at, like, techniques. I could... I'm horrid at realism. I don't know how to blend colors or anything. That's kind of where my good artist kind of stops. Um, I don't know how to blend anything. Except for barely any pencil, and that's pushing it. Um, we're going to give her an arm wrap thing and we're gonna give her some eyebrow piercings 
That doesn't look like an eye robber thing. I don't know what that looked like, but it, that looks like an eyebrow piercing was not it. Oh, look rings. Nope. I don't know really what piercing that would be seen like that. There we go. Okay, right now I'm going to go ahead and just draw on her flat. I don't know what I'm going to do with the pants yet, but I like to draw really small feet. So those are actually a little too small now that I think about it. <laughs> really, now that I think about it, they're too small. There's about the size I like to draw. Okay, I'm sorry. I need I have to like lean in really close. I'm trying to like avoid the camera because I don't show my face. Okay. I think we're gonna move that heel up a little bit. And we're good on the feet. Yeah. I'm gonna make them nice and black this time. That's something I don't normally do. I normally leave them blank. I think I have enough time for the inking in this video, too, maybe. Nope, we're going to do it a separate video. The inking and the naming. Okay, those are going to, those armbands are going to be probably one of the darkest parts of the drawing. Um, I think I just want, like, a really light ombre here. So now I'm kind of barely coloring the whole thing. I don't even know if you can see the color on there. Not on the camera. No, I can't. I know that I can't. Um, I'm just gonna, yeah, I can barely see the coloring down there. But rest assured, I am... I am actually coloring. You're not just hearing random pencil scratching noises on a separate sheet of paper at the same time. And I'm just... Well, you can kind of see it. Okay, now I need to clean up right there. Okay, so now what I mean by look like fingerless gloves, I'm going to actually... And it right there, right along the waistline, they're going to be large. Okay, so now I'm going to draw the little stripies. Normally I would do like really bold outlines in deep black pencil. But we're going to do it in pink because I mean it is a little <gasps> idea. The title of the drawing does is going to be electric pink. But we're going to erase just a small section right there. Draw in a lightning bolt real quick. I'm bad at drawing lightning bolts if you haven't already noticed. Okay, now we're going to re-add in that round right there. And then she's going to have a really small long lower cheek. That's no. Okay, her face is to be blank. Okay, we're done with the sketching slash shading, I guess, process. I'm not gonna color the skin in this one. Okay, so that's it. This is almost a 20 minute video. Don't forget to like if you want me to do more videos like this one subscribe if you like what you see and want to see more never miss another one of my videos and comment suggestions for future videos or what you thought of this one all right i'll see you in my next video bye